Greetings commanders and welcome. I'm gonna take a look at the double engineered frameshare drive we got from the community goal to see how much it is better than the regular engineering. Let's start with the 3A and for that I went back to Horizons because the outfitting works way better in Horizons than in Odyssey. Definitely you can directly see the difference in jump range. So this uh, Imperial Eagle right now can jump for 36 light years, but this frameshare drive is only engineered class 4, but when I put the double engineered I can now jump 42.62 light years. From the fact that it's only a class 4, I cannot really tell how much the difference would be, but I'm guessing roughly like 4 or something light years difference. If I would even downgrade, so if I put this uh, frame drive on, and I would downgrade the thrusters and uh, the power distributor, I think I could make 45 light years with this Imperial Eagle. Now let's take a look at the 4A. For the 4A I'm using the Dolphin, right now I have 57.02 light years jump range and with the double engineered it will give me 61.51 light years. So you gain roughly 4.5 light years with the double engineered frameshare drive. Now let's take a look at the last one, the 6A. And that one I put on my main ship, the Anaconda. Right now I have 48.41 light years of jump range. And with the double engineered, it gives me 52.08 light years. So we can say that as well as for the 4A as for the 6A, you gain about 4.5 light years of jump range, which is actually not bad. So I do think that uh, they are worth the trouble for the community goal and I'm actually glad that they're gonna put it back on the Colonial Bridge Part 3. So there you go, the difference in uh, jump range for the regular and the double engineered frame jet drive. That's it for this time commanders, see you the next time, bye.